there's always that one receiver that falls to the second round of the draft and ends up being an absolute steal. In 2020, there was Chase Claypool and T. Higgins, and potentially Denzel Mims. In 2019, you had DK Metcalf, AJ Brown. In 2018, Cortland Sutton, DJ Chark. In 2017, Juju Smith-Schuster. The list goes on and on with even more big names like Devontae Adams in 2014. Well, in 2021, I think that second round steal could potentially be Terrace Marshall Jr. In this video, I'll be breaking down some of his best attributes and why I think he can be an absolute steal if he falls to the second round or even at the back of the first round. Marshall's biggest strengths are his ability to win at the line of scrimmage and his catch radius. He is an incredible athlete and a great all-around receiver. I'll go through some of his film with you today to explain why I think he's going to be a great receiver and I'll talk about an NFL player that I think is very comparable to him. Please be sure to hit the subscribe button below to help me grow my channel and click the notification bell to stay tuned for all future NFL draft content and other NFL content. I also have a constantly updating list with my rankings of about 100 prospects at their positions, so feel free to check that out in the description when you're done watching this video. With all that said, let's just dive into some film. Let's start off by taking a look at Marshall's release, his ability to win at the line of scrimmage. Marshall has an excellent release package and he knows how to use defensive backs leverage against them to win at the line of scrimmage. Take a look at this play right here. LSU is running a slant wheels concept on this play. This is a very common cover one beater concept that you see a lot in college and in high school because it sometimes can create a natural picking action and more importantly, it's almost impossible for any defender to stick with a receiver on this concept in man coverage. And it works especially well against cover one because there's only one deep safety. If it were cover two, this concept wouldn't work nearly as well because there would be safety help on both sides of the field. However, to LSU's advantage, on this play right here, Clemson is running a cover one defense. Against LSU's 2019 offense, it would be borderline impossible to shut down both wheel routes on either side because they're being run by both Justin Jefferson, an NFL All-Pro, and Jamar Chase, one of the top three receivers in this year's draft class. So Marshall's route is the underneath slant route in this concept, which was not where Joe Burrow was looking because he was trying to hit one of the wheel routes on the outside, which are really the whole point of this pass concept. However, I want to focus in on Marshall's release off the line of scrimmage, even though he knew he probably wasn't getting the ball in this play. Right at the snap, Marshall uses a stutter step to read the DB's leverage. Since Marshall wants to cut inside on the slant route, he wants to get the DB's hips turned outside so he can then cut inside on the slant. To do this, Marshall sticks his foot and commits his head and shoulders outside to set like he was going deep, and you can see that the DB turns his hips to play him like he's going deep. Marshall is then just able to turn inside on the slant and he has his man beat by a good two or three steps. Of course he doesn't get the ball because as I said this route was just an extra route in the pass concept, but if he were to get the ball in this play it would be a great opportunity because he has his man beat by a good bit. That's what I mean when I say that Marshall has a great release package. He can beat defenders off the line in similar fashion to this all the time and I'm going to tell you what NFL player I think he, he really compares to in all aspects of his game including this one. When I watch Terrace Marshall on tape I see a lot of Michael Thomas. I'm not trying to say that he's as good as Michael Thomas, obviously we haven't seen him play in the NFL level yet, but I'm saying that his skill set and his play style is a lot like Mike's. Let me show you a similar play to the one Marshall ran that was ran by Thomas to show you how similar of a route they ran. On this play, Michael Thomas was running a slant route. Look at how he runs this route and how similar it is to the way Marshall ran his. Thomas is getting press coverage, then he sticks his foot outside and gets the corner to make a really slight turn of the hips. It's an NFL corner, so he didn't commit as much as the college one did, but that little hesitation was enough for Michael Thomas to win the rep at the NFL level. Thomas then cuts inside, and he gets the ball for a gain of a few yards. Do you see the similarity in the two routes ran? And for the record, Marshall and Thomas are the exact same height and a negligible difference in weight. Let me show you one more route that Marshall ran that I really liked, and I just had to include this. It shows his ability to be physical when he runs his routes, again, just like Michael Thomas. He doesn't get the ball in this play, I'll show a play where he gets the ball eventually, but I just couldn't ignore this route. Marshall's just running a fade up the middle and when he gets jammed, he uses great technique to get the DB's hands off him. Receivers are taught that when you're getting jammed, there are three main target zones that you can use to get his hands off you. The back of the shoulder, the back of the elbow, or on his wrist. On this play, Marshall gets off the DB's jam by pushing him away by the back of his elbow, and then he outruns him to beat him on the route by a step or two. Burrow decides to just check the ball down to the running back, but in the NFL, quarterbacks are going to see that step or two and they're going to take advantage of that. While we're on the topic of Marshall's route running, I wanted to point out that even on reps where he doesn't necessarily win at the line of scrimmage, he's very fast and athletic and he can just outrun DBs. Watch on this play where he's just going deep running a 9 route and he just ran right past the defender. He isn't one of those receivers who are just good route runners and have good hands but aren't good athletes. He's not that guy, he is an athlete. 
I'll get to the hands thing in a minute, but here's another example of his athleticism. This is one where he actually got the ball, which was rare to find in his 2019 tape because there was so much talent on that offense. But LSU just sends three receivers deep on this play, and Marshall just outruns his guy. LSU hasn't had their pro day yet, but I think it's toward the end of March, and he should run somewhere in the 4-4s. He ran a 4-5-3 as a senior in high school. I can see him running somewhere like in the mid to late 4-4 range, or even faster than that. So we've talked about how great Marshall is as a route runner off the line of scrimmage, and how he's also a fast, athletic receiver who can recover from not winning off the line on certain reps. He can also use his physicality to win against more aggressive defenders. I've also touched on how I see him as a comparable player to Michael Thomas. Well, there's one more aspect to Marshall's game that makes him truly special, and it's probably the number one thing he's best at. Again, very much compared to Michael Thomas, that's his catch radius. This dude, Marshall, at 6'3", he can go up and get any ball you throw at him. He has incredible concentration when the ball's in the air, and he can adjust to any ball that is thrown toward him. This play right here pretty much puts together everything I've talked about, and highlights his catch radius as well. On this play, Marshall's able to outrun the DB, and then he pushes the DB's hand away using the back of his elbow like I talked about earlier. He's then able to adjust to the ball Burrow throws to him and makes an incredible catch for the touchdown. And that play put LSU up by three scores in the national championship and pretty much sealed the deal for them. This play right here just clearly shows his amazing catch radius and his ability to go up and get 50-50 balls. I haven't watched any of Marshall's highlight reels, but I'm sure if you just go like looked up on YouTube Terrace Marshall highlights, you would see a thousand more examples that I saw on tape of Marshall going up and getting 50-50 balls and making incredible contested catches. So all in all, I think Terrace Marshall is easily one of the top five receivers in this cl draft class. I don't think that's a stretch at all. His route running, athleticism, and catch radius make for a very complete receiver who brings everything you could possibly want in a true number one outside receiver to the table. And I can see him being a second round steal like Michael Thomas was. There's so much depth in this 2021 wide receiver class, so I think Marshall could realistically end up falling into the second round of the draft. He could potentially be a late first round guy as well, but I can see him more realistically being a second round pick, and if he is picked in the second round, watch out, because this guy is going to go crazy in the NFL.